Hey, what's going on everybody? It's J Myrax of Altruist Productions. Thanks for joining me again. Today I want to discuss a question that I received on my YouTube channel. This was from a user asking me about whether or not it's wise to use multiple dolls or to consistently switch dolls. And you know, I, I have a perspective on that that I want to share because it may be different from some of the typical stuff you may have heard. Because you know, there's a lot of um, there there was a lot of merit in sticking to say one beat production device or you know sticking to one DAW if that's your beat making or beat production or music production device. Um, there's a lot of merit in that because when you are able to stick with one thing it allows you to be able to fully explore all the creative potential and it allows you to get a specific workflow that is fast and reliable when you're in your own studio doing music production or whatever else you may be doing so i definitely agree with the idea of Focus in and becoming a master at your tools. But I will also say that the software paradigm is much different than the hardware paradigm. Now, you know, I, back in the day, um, it used to be very common for a producer to have one main beat making tool or piece of equipment that they would use. Like, you know, I'm sure some of you guys watch, say, Jake One on the ASR-10 and he's a master at it. You know, he's incredible at it. Or you see people like, you know, uh, Easy Mo B on the S950 and SB1200 combination. Another master, another incredible producer on a single tour or a single environment. And then you have other guys, other new guys that are just strictly Fruity Loops. You know, some of these guys like, you know, just all, I would say all, all the younger guys now that's killing on Fruity Loops, you know, they typically just use Fruity Loops. But I also, from, from my experience working with a lot of professionals, know that knowing multiple tools can save you in a lot of situations. See, since software, it doesn't take up any physical space, it's easy to have access to a lot of different things or a lot of different DAWs on a single computer. So, and it doesn't hurt you to have access to the, to those things because each software environment has its own tools and benefits that you can utilize in your own production. And I like to look at the, the software tools that we have now is as exactly that tools and not necessarily like my sole axe you know because you can use an axe to do a lot of things but see an axe is not always the most effective or efficient tool to use in certain situations and a lot of the professionals that I've run into and including myself I don't want to just talk about other people but including myself a lot of us tend to choose the best parts of different environments when necessary to accomplish a certain outcome or to get a certain result. So for example, like I use Logic, Pro Tools, Ableton Live, you know, sometimes I use Reason, you know, I, I use a lot of different things. You know, I'll use Ableton Live, for example, if I need to be able to manipulate a piece of audio in a specific way without affecting the pitch or without affecting the um, the audio texture but still being able to manipulate the tempo you know Ableton is the master at warping so I use Ableton for things like that or also it's a great tool for being able to just sequence and record in a non-linear way but then I may, use, I may use Logic in the situation where I want to have access to some of its mixing tools or just make use of the way that it's able to record with um, folder structure, for example, because Ableton Live cannot do that. And 
you know, the two situations that I just described right now are, are different things. So maybe I may need to manipulate the audio in Ableton and then bring it into Logic in, in order to complete a production. I look at each DAW in terms of what tools it provides me. I'm not really trying to just say that I'm only going to use this for everything because I don't have to now. You know, it, it like I said, it doesn't take up any additional space. So it's better for me to just say, hey, let me just utilize the best aspects of each of these environments as I see fit. And also, knowing multiple DAWs allows me to be able to go to pretty much anybody's studio and still get results. And that's really important for me. As a professional, I like to be on top of my game. So I like to be able to say, let me go to, you know, my guy's studio here that may have, he may be working in Logic or he may be working in Pro Tools. I like to be able to sit down and still be able to get results. I never wanted to be the guy that was just like, oh, if you don't have the MPC and Logic, I can't do anything. Or if you don't have, you know, A, B, and C equipment, I can't do anything. It, it, it will save you. As, as a professional, it can save you a lot if you are knowledgeable in at least the fundamentals of other DAWs. Now, I don't recommend that you always are constantly switching just, to, just for the sake of switching. You have to be wise with the reason that you would use different tools. Each tool is capable of different results based upon you know cer certain strengths and weaknesses that it may have it's okay to look and see what else is out there as far as the software tools are concerned or even hardware tools but i would i would also recommend that you have one piece that is your your primary go-to piece the thing that you can most consistently rely on so you know i don't want to draw this out i just wanted to just state that you know it's it's okay to have multiple DAWs. It's okay to have multiple beat making environments because another thing that you have to consider is that you may, as a music producer or beat maker, get bored sometimes. Let's be real. Sometimes doing the same thing over and over can be boring, and I mean working in the same environment. You know, we just talked about the insanity of beat making and constantly doing the same things over. But, you know, some some portion of that could also be attributed to the environment. Sometimes just a change in environment can spark a lot of creativity. So I'm definitely a proponent of switching things up when it is a positive boost in our productivity and creativity. So, you know, keep exploring. Don't just feel limited just because everybody says, oh, you got to pick one thing and just do that thing. Sure, learn how to do one thing well, but also be willing to be flexible. You know, you got you to gotta also try to be flexible in what you do so that you can get the best out of things that come that are potentially you know, um, going to change the way that you can make music. You know, it's it's fine to be able to know what's the latest and how, you know, certain sounds are being created within music. If you're a student of music and you listen to music and you hear people manipulating sounds and things differently, you're going to, you know, you're going to be curious to see how are they achieving those results. And sometimes it may be very DAW specific. So, Anyhow, hope that answers the question that my guy had. All right, so until next time, I just want to tell y'all peace and God bless. Also, on my website, www.altruist.com, we now have these new shirts. They're the pound unapologetically West. So go ahead and support your boy. Pick up one of these shirts and rep that West. All right, until next time, I'm out.